Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Got another knife to show you today. Now, I, like most of you, uh, do sometimes fall victim to the impulse buy, and that's what this was. I was in survival tactics the other day uh, talking to Steve. I'd taken in my uh, Topps uh, Fieldcraft knife, and I had a couple small modifications. Uh, that I wanted uh, Channing from Havoc Works to look at, see if he could possibly do for me. And if that works out, I'll show you that at, in a later video. But as I was hanging around the store, I was looking at uh, some of the stuff sitting around, and like I pointed out in the uh, Survival Tactics video, I keep looking at that Blade Tech Ulu knife. It's like, dang, that's just a cool knife. It's very unique. I was like, I wish I could take this out and handle it. Well, I was holding the clam pack, and unfortunately for me, the clam pack that it was packaged in is not one of those ones that are permanently sealed. You can actually pop it open. So I was like, ah, oh, damn it. So I got it out and put it in the hand, and I was like, whoa, this is freaking cool. I love the way this thing feels in the hand, and it's just interesting. So I picked it up, obviously. So this is what we're talking about here. And if you're not familiar with it and you're looking at it right now, you're like, what the hell is that thing in his hand? Well, let's open this baby up. This is the Blade Tech ULU, or U-L-U, Ultimate Locking Utility. So it's a ULU knife. It fits awesome in the hand. It's got a rubberized grip that just feels good. And look at that freaking blade. Now it's not a big, you know, pointy stab you in the head blade. Uh, it's just the perfect slicer chopper knife. This is what you would want for food prep. So don't put rem oil on it. Rem oil's bad, remember? But let me tell you, this thing is fun. Now it's AUS8A blade steel. So it's a real good stainless steel. Let's talk about the liner lock real quick. Uh, this, this is a really well made knife. It is kind of tough to operate sometimes. First of all, you're going to need to put on your big boy pants uh, for unlocking this thing with one hand because it is really stiff. You pretty much have to get your fingernail all the way up at the top to push it over so you can close the knife. But as many of you already know, if you've seen this knife before, this is only one of two ways that this knife can be used. So if you go back into the liner lock again, and we're going to push that over, and once it's pushed over, we slide it down a little bit. And then, push it until it clicks, and now it's in its traditional you know, ULU knife configuration. So you can chop or, you know, scrape a hide or whatever the hell you do with one of these knives. I was I was gonna look it up and see, but it's like, you know what, the big thing that you're gonna do with this is basically cut food. Uh, especially slicing up vegetables and wild edibles and stuff like that. This is something that's gonna work real good in your camp kitchen. Now to unlock it, from this position. You're going to need to push this button and then you got a little fingernail nick right here. So now it's unlocked. Now it's back into the regular position. Then lock, hit the liner lock and you're closed. It's got a real good strong stainless steel pocket clip. Uh, I, I think it's a three and a half inch blade. Uh, I'm not sure if they're measuring just you know the cutting edge or from t from uh, base to tip but either way it it looks and feels a lot bigger than your typical three and a half inch folding knife I'm mean, just because the just because the blades so big now you might be saying to yourself well what the hell do I need one of these for well you may not need one of these if you just like uh, collecting interesting cool knives this would definitely definitely be one 
if you want something that works really well specifically for food prep, chopping, slicing, uh, like I said, scraping out hides and stuff like that, this is going to work real good for you. Uh, it's got jimping up here. I don't really understand why they bothered with the thumb hole because it's kind of in a weird position. I mean, it works, but you've got this whole big thing right here, so you can pretty much grab it anywhere and open it up. Now, this isn't the cheapest knife for a folding knife. Uh, retail store price is about 55 bucks. You might be able to get it a little bit cheaper online. Well, I'm sure you can. Online is always going to be cheaper, but I like to support the local stores too, so that's why I. I kind of alternate between buying a, buying a knife on Amazon, buying one from Rivers Edge Cutlery, buying one from Survival Tactics, you know, so on so forth. So on so forth. That's what's nice about being in Columbus is Survival Tactics and Rivers Edge have some of the same stuff, but they have a lot of things that are different. So it's not like they're totally in direct competition with each other. Plus, Survival Tactics is you know where you're going to want to go if you're looking for gun stuff too and River's Edge is where you're gonna go if you're into knives and haircuts it's, they do all the barber supply stuff too but I really like you wouldn't think I would want to EDC this thing but I've been carrying it for the last couple days because let me tell you something with this curved blade right here this is basically like having a small cross section of a saber you know that's the whole you know when you have this curved blade it's just going to slice better. That's why, you know, if you ever watch sword videos, the guys that are, you know, cutting with a katana, you know, it's just going to slice and cut better than something with a straight blade like a ninja toe. So having that small thing right there, even if, even though this doesn't have like a, a you know, stabbing point, this would probably work very well in a self-defense role if you had the prerequisite you know knife training to where you're making your slash cuts this thing is this thing would do slash cuts just like a son of a bitch I mean it is sharp it's like holy crap sharp and especially after I ran this thing on uh, the work sharp uh, field sharpener it it's it's ridiculous I had to do my usual uh, thumb repair. I usually end up with what I call new knife thumb. New knife thumb is when you get a new knife and you just keep sharpening it. It's like, is it sharp enough? Is it sharp enough? And you just just keep slicing your thumb until you've got about 5,000 little tiny cuts in it. Then you got to break out the crazy glue brush applicator and put a couple coats on that till it heals up. But all in all, is it practical? Is it something that the average survival practitioner might want to carry? I don't know about that. If you like doing wild edibles, if you like camp cooking and just doing a lot of stuff with food when you're out, like actually cutting stuff up and making stuff from scratch, then this is definitely something that you would you would like. And this would be like your dedicated your dedicated you know food prep knife. So you wouldn't put like I said you wouldn't put rim oil on this. It's stainless steel. And that way you can use your other knives for you know doing what doing whatever the hell else you want to do. And you got this one super ridiculous sharp knife to cut your food with. And I tell you, this thing feels awesome in the hand. Just the the contour of it and those rubber coated handles. Really, really like this. I thought it was just gonna be a gimmick. I, I mean I've been I've been looking at this knife for a long time. First time I ever saw this, I was watching Man, Woman, Wild, and they were on an island somewhere, and Michael Hawk was like, I don't know, prying up a sea urchin or some shit, and he had this knife like this, and I kept freeze framing the the, the TV, and I'm looking at, it, I'm like, what the hell is that knife in his hand? That thing looks crazy. Well, obviously this is what it was. So there you have it. That is the Blade Tech Ultimate locking utility or the ulu very clever right um, in case you're wondering this is made in 
the great state of China, if that matters to you. Uh, it is built really well, though. So, hmm. Don't know what else I can say about this, except it is interesting, and it might be something that you would be into. Might not. But, yeah, it is definitely an interesting knife. There you have it. I'm Chris from Prepared Mind One. Thanks for watching. Uh, click like on the video, uh, share it, do whatever you want with it. Send it to your mother-in-law. Say, hey, check this knife out. I want this for Christmas. Uh, I'm going to let my wife, your daughter, use it for food prep, and it has absolutely nothing to do with me. Uh, check me out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Prepared Mind 101. Also on Instagram, that's where all the cool pictures are. That was actually, uh, if you caught it the other day on Facebook, I kind of disappeared for a while. This knife actually killed my Android phone. I just bought it at Survival Tactics and I laid it on the ground, snapped a picture with Instagram, and my phone went black and never came back. So, luckily I have the insurance on Verizon, so I got FedExed a new one the next day. But watch out, because this thing will kill your phone. Don't know why, but... Maybe it's because it's just that badass. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Be back with some more videos later. See you next time.